Thanks for your Kill Shield purchase. Over the next few minutes, I'll show you the few easy steps to installing your Kill Shield. Remember, Kill Shield is backed by a 100% lifetime guarantee, no questions asked. Come along with us. I'll have you on the water in no time with the ultimate in hole protection. Before beginning the installation of your kill shield, it's always important to remove the spare tire for easier access to the hole. Items needed for easier installation include scotch tape, the kill shield activation wipe, the scuff pad, paper towels, wax marker, gloves, isopropyl alcohol. The first step to begin installing the kill shield is to always make sure that the hole temperature, again, the hole temperature, not the air temperature, is at least 70 degrees. Failure to have the hole temperature at 70 degrees will result in adhesive failure down the road. Once you're positive that your hole temperature is at least 70 degrees, what you want to do is take the kill shield out of the package and lay it flat. Now depending on where the kill shield was actually stored, this product might seem to be a little stiff. Setting this in the driveway for half an hour to an hour is going to allow the sun to beat down on it and to make this a lot more pliable for easier installation. To begin, it's important to find the resting water line of your watercraft and then place the keel shield six to nine inches above that water line as demonstrated in here. The next step is critical as we take the wax pen. We're going to trace the outline all the way around. We're going to do this all the way down the keel. This is going to allow to be able to tape the outline edges, to be able to scuff the inside. By taping the outside edges here, this is going to allow us to make sure that we don't sand outside the area where the keel shield is going to be installed. After the tape is applied, your hole should look like this. Next step, surface preparation is key. For the next step, you want to take isopropyl alcohol as well as paper towel. You want to go ahead and wipe this down inside of the area that you just traced as well as tape. You want to repeat this step as necessary until your paper towel continues to come back clean. These next steps must be done with great care. We only recommend the use of isopropyl alcohol. This is the only cleaner on the market that when it dries, it will not leave a film or residue. Whatever you do, do not use lacquer thinner or acetone for the following steps. When those dry, they'll leave an oily residue causing the adhesive on the back of the keel shield later to fail. Inside the keel shield kit is a scuff pad. You simply want to take this pad and use this basically to take off the clear coat within the taped areas. Make sure and take your time, go back and forth. What this is going to allow is it's going to allow for easier adhesion of the keel shield in later steps. Once you have finished scuffing the area, it's very important to be able to wipe off the remaining residue such as you see here with the isopropyl alcohol. And what you want to do is you want to repeat this step as many times as necessary until your paper towel comes back nice and clean. When you have finished scuffing the bottom of the hole, you should notice that the area you just scuffed is much duller than the high gloss area of the rest of your hole. For this next step, what you want to do is make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Go ahead and put on the plastic glove that came within the kit and go ahead and open up the Kill Shield Adhesive Activation Wipe. We're going to go ahead and pull this guy out. And what you're going to notice right here is you certainly don't want to open all this out because the contents seem to go ahead and evaporate quickly. So only unfold as necessary. We're going to apply this directly all the way to the area that we just sanded. And the beauty of this is, is we're going to let it sit for five minutes before the next step. After your adhesive applicator has been on the hole for five minutes, you want to go ahead and remove the tape from the hole. Before we install the kill shield, you'll notice that we have 13 different ribs across it. The seventh rib is always going to be the middle. What we want to do is get any type of a pen, a wax pen, or a marker, something you're going to be able to wipe off easy, and you want to go ahead and easily mark this area moving all the way down. And what you'll notice by marking the seventh ridge, at least for the first couple feet, it's gonna allow for easier access of your keel shield in the next step. Once you have the seventh ridge of your keel shield marked, now we get down to the technical part. What you wanna do is go ahead and take the back of the keel shield as demonstrated here. And this is when things get very tricky because you never ever wanna touch the adhesive on the back of the keel shield 
nor the applicator adhesive that we just put on there. You don't want to touch that with your hands. Naturally, all of our hands have oily, greasy residue that will later cause the adhesive not to stick. Very critical to follow these steps. What we're going to do is slowly but surely, without touching the kill shield, go ahead and pull this tape back about one foot. By doing so, and only on the center, not the left or the right, just the center, we now need to match the center of this keel shield with the center of the keel on your boat. Most importantly, you only get one shot. As soon as this adhesive and this adhesive on the keel bond, there's no pulling it off. You only get one shot. Have to make sure you're correct. So what, what we did here is we matched the center stripe on the seventh ridge, and we put a little mark on the exact center of the keel of the boat. But now the most important step, we're going to take where we mark this kill shield here and where we mark right on the hole. We're going to line these guys up. And again, you only get one chance. If you put this on wrong, it's nearly impossible to peel back off. Okay, now that I have a little bit of the center sticking there, I'm just going to go ahead and rub this down just a little bit for the foot. Again, maintaining that the center strip that we marked earlier is exactly even with the center keel. It's going to allow for a nice, even presentation of your keel shield. Slowly work your way down, moving this center adhesive strip at one foot at a time. This will allow you to do nice, equal increments when putting on your keel shield for a nice balanced approach. Once you've completed the middle section, go ahead and start with either left or right. In this case, we'll start with the left side. Again, I'm wanting to pull down about a foot at a time. Here's a very important tip for you. When installing this section of the keel shield, you want to go ahead and start in the middle, and slowly but certainly, you want to move your hand on out. What we're doing is keeping a nice, consistent pressure on the adhesive, making sure we're a quality bonding process. Naturally, once the center and the left is done, all we have left is the right. So again, one foot at a time, and now, again, working from the center and slowly but certainly moving our way up. We're going to repeat this process until the kill shield is completely on. Last but not least, you'll notice within your kill shield kit came a squeegee. What you want to do is go ahead and take the felt padded side of the squeegee, and we want to start in the center. And the purpose of this is to slowly but certainly work the squeegee within the cracks. And what we're going to do again by starting the center is I'm going to go all the way completely down this keel shield. And I'm going to do this one step at a time. When I get done with the center, I'm going to either start working left or right. The next step is to simply take the boat out in the water and have a good time. Thanks again for your purchase of Keel Shield brand products. Thank you.